Hello, today I want to show you how to use another dif dimensioning and text in AutoCAD. So let's say you want to show this space in two different scales, maybe to showcase different detail levels, but don't want to create a whole bunch of dimensioning styles and just have one. So in this case, we have already created our dimensioning style, which is an additive. And here we have it as well, both for our text and for our dimensioning. So let's start creating our first lines here. Let's do it very quickly. So let's say for your bigger scale, you just want to show how much each of the spaces have in both directions. And then for the other scale, you might want to show a bit more detail. So let's say on your other scale, you want to show how much the windows are or these wall bumps are and maybe the divisions on this door. So we are going to use the exact same dimensioning and just go ahead and create this one's with more details. So don't worry if it's not looking correct here. Maybe they are on top of each other. It's going to be fixed almost magically with our next step. Let's finish here. So we want to showcase how much these windows are, maybe the wall thickness. Um, give it a little bit more detail so now that we have both of our dimensioning we can move on into creating the text so let's create a multi-line text and just add our name here so this would be the reception <laughs> and then we have our waiting area down here and now we can go into our layout <clears throat> right here sorry and you can see we are not seeing anything we did but we have both of our scales right here marked so now we go back to our model and what we want to do is the following First, you're going to select your dimensioning that you want to show up on one of the scales. So let's do the bigger scale first. And what you want to do is write the command properties. And you're going to get this window right here. You're going to come here into an additive where you see this scale and you're going to be adding where you want that dimensioning to be shown so in my case i want to see it show up the bigger one maybe here so now we have it and we click ok And you can see, once you do this, you're going to see two text sizes. And the same is going to happen with um, the text. So let's go into this one now and do the same. Here. Here. So now I have them all selected and let's do it again. So sometimes you're going to get this window once you have the properties open. So you go here and you add the scales where you want this to be shown. So let's add maybe these three. And now once I select this, you're going to see three text sizes. 
and the same for both of our texts. So properties, annotative, window icon, and we add our scales that we want to see this text in. Okay, and now as you can see, once I select this text, I see all of these sizes. So the great thing about doing this is you don't have to be adjusting sizes on your layouts, but you are going to just see them right there. And it's always going to have the same size. So every time when you're going to print your text, your dimension in layers, everything is the same size and it's correct to the scale that you're printing. I hope this helps.